Hello everybody. So today's video is uh, how I'm going to mix uh, my mango and shea butter, which I'm, I'm going to call it mango and shea butter mix. So start adding normally my concussion, guys. You don't know, we I love uh, mixing concussion. That is what is helping my scalp to heal and my hair to grow because of my scalp issue my alopecia issue guys so i always love mixing what my hair and my scalp has been loving uh to heal everything that i'm that i have which is alopecia so uh after um let me say mixing the shea and the mango butter i'm also going to mix my own way concussion into this butter because I will also use from it, guys. I also use from it. That is why I love mixing my concussion, what is good to my scalp and my hair. So, guys, this is uh, what I've come to show you. First, I want to show you the reason why I have this alcohol here. There are some things I've not shown since I've been doing my video because I already prepared them before I show my video. So, I'm, today I'm going to show you this. I just bought this glass jar. So I washed it, but in spite of that, I still like to disinfect it with alcohol to, uh, because at times, uh, at the beginning, when I was doing video, I washed them, then I put my product. After some weeks, they, they form mud at the, at the side of the jar. So I never knew what was the problem until I talked to my uh, cosmetology and she said to me that I need to also disinfect what I'm putting where i'm putting my product so after then i learned this very part so you are going to put some alcohol into the jar just you to clean it after washing it anyway so this is what i have been doing but i'm not showing it because i just try showing it just not to waste waste much time i will add, bring another uh, dry paper uh, kitchen paper or cloth whatever thing you have just use this use it like this to dry out the alcohol finally I'll be needing uh i'll be needing one cup of my shea butter so i'm going to open my mango butter this is it I'm also going to need one cup. So after that, I'm going to add a spoon of my e-wax, just a spoon of e-wax. So now I'm going to take it to my double heat boiler. So here we are. I have put it to my double heat boiler. So I'm going to allow everything to melt while I come back before I start to add every other thing. So guys, as you just read what happened, so anyway, uh, I've added everything now, I'm stirring it well before I add uh, my glycerin. So as for my glycerin, I will be adding just a spoon, so I'm, I'm gauging with my eye. So after that guys, I'm going to add just two capsules of vitamin E. So adding that one, I will also give it a very good stir because everything I add, I always add like to stir it first. So now I'm going to put it into my uh, freezer to just uh, stay for 10 minutes and come back. So here is after 10 minutes, so it has started to uh, solidify around the premises of the 
uh, bowl. So I will add the last ingredients, which is my essential and lemon uh, infused oil. So as for the lavender oil, I'm going to add five drops of lavender oil. So after that, I will also add my tea tree oil. I will add 15 drops of tea tree oil. So last is my uh, lemon infused herb oil. So guys, I'm going to add just five uh, milliliter, which is half teaspoon of uh, uh, lemon infused oil. After adding all the old ingredients, so now I'm going to start uh, to mix them. Guys, I'm not going to wipe it to become uh, something like uh, creamy or like um, um, or like when you do a wiping shea butter to comb that uh, to make it to rise. No, guys, I'm going to do it. Uh, like a butter a melted butter so after mixing i'm not going to allow it to solidify totally i'm just only going to use my mixer to mix all the ingredients together to incorporate everything well and to also uh give it a nice and uh, fluffy and smooth look so after that now i'm going to scrub everything again from the behind of the the bowl so i will now uh, uh use my mixer to mix it well again so as the e the bee wax guys sorry as the bee wax is helping uh the butter to begin to come a little bit thicker so i'm going to stop mixing if not it's going to go out of my uh what i'm about to do to have it like really uh butter cream that you can use on your skin uh on and uh and to your hair so guys this is the final look is going to come out like this you see it looks like really a uh, milk it looks like this condensed milk guys you can put it on your tea on your coffee <laughs> I'm, I'm joking guys <laughs> it's so it's so yummy really it looks like condensed milk so this is how you can have um your uh, mango and shea uh creamy butter so i'm just trying to give it some design on top after it cools down it's going to come out in form of when you uh add some cream into your uh jar you know when you buy a cream thicker cream for by that cream on your for your skin when you open it you know the the, the way they, they put inside the jar it will look so beautiful and this uh oil or whatever you think is not sticky and it's not even heavy you see how it melts on my skin so guys i hope you love this video for those of you that have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that you can receive a notification every week also remember to tick the bell for notification anytime i post video i hope you really truly love this video i hope you love this mixture for me i'm really in love with it already so it has solidified this is the beauty and the final look thank you guys for watching god bless you all as usual bye bye